guys, and welcome to One Kitchen. I'm Julia. So it is time for another ice cream dessert today, but I am going to hopefully make it look a bit more professional today and a little bit more delicious and a little bit more presentable for guests you are having over or just your friends and family. But today I'm going to show you how to make some, it doesn't really have a elegant name, but some half balls of ice cream covered in chocolate and then with a little chocolate syrup surprise inside. What I would use for this recipe here is some milk chocolate chips and I have just added about 7 grams of cocoa butter in here just to make my chocolate a bit thinner. You can also leave that step out if you cannot find cocoa butter anywhere. Then I'm also going to use some chocolate syrup and my chocolate syrup here is homemade of course. Homemade is way better and it is done in about 10-15 minutes and you have it. It just has to cool down so make it the night before. And I will of course leave the link for that down below in my description. Then I'm also going to use some whole milk, some heavy cream, some sugar, some pasteurized egg yolks and then some vanilla extract. And I will of course also be using some silicone molds for my half balls here. So into my bowl here with sugar I'm just going to add in all of my egg yolks. That. And then I'm just going to give all of that a good mix, like so, nothing much. And then in with my vanilla extract. You can also use vanilla seeds if you want that. I have an extract here with vanilla seeds in, so it cannot get any more delicious. And I'm just going to stir this here in, in with my heavy cream. And in with my milk. If you don't have an ice cream machine, you can of course make that recipe where you're just adding in heavy cream, whisking that and adding condensed milk. I just love a bit more of a fresh homemade ice cream with eggs in, real vanilla extract, milk and just a little bit of cream because I think all of that cream just makes it way way too much but it is really up to you and it is a nice substitute if you don't have an ice cream machine but now I'm just going to stir this here together. Here is now my finished ice cream base. I'm just going to put my ice cream into my ice cream machine and just let it stir in there until it is done. But while that is stirring in the machine I have to melt down my chocolate and because my machine is so so noisy I'm just going to tell you right now what I'm going to do and then just show it on the camera without speaking because that machine that is just way too loud. But what I'm going to do is to take my chocolate and cocoa butter and melt down in my microwave. Just about 10 to 15 seconds at a time, take it out, stir in it, and just keep doing that just to make sure that this mix here does not get too hot. And when that is melted in there, I am going to add some into my bowl here, just one at a time. And then I'm just going to roll it a bit just to cover it all. And then when I've done that one, I'm going to place some more in another one. And do this here again and you will of course see it on the camera and hopefully you know what I mean. And when they are nice and covered I'm going to place them into the freezer to set for about 10 minutes. And after those 10 minutes my ice cream should be done. My ice cream takes about 50 minutes to be done in the machine. So you can start on this here when there's 15 minutes left of the machine. And when my ice cream is done and my chocolate is set, I am going to take my chocolate syrup here and take a nice spoonful of that and place into each of these half balls here. And then I'm going to place my vanilla ice cream inside. And when that is inside there, I'm going to pour a little bit of chocolate on the top as well just to cover it up. And then I'm going to place it in the freezer and it has to be in the freezer to set completely for at least a few hours. And after that, it is ready to be served.